Welcome one, welcome all one more time here on your wonderful and favorite show, your host and uh, Ponga J, all the way from Johannesburg Galaxy Universal Network here in Midrand, South Africa, South Africa. What a momentous epoch as we are all sitting around today watching on our TVs, the inauguration of uh, uh, Joe Biden. And I was protesting actually, I'm saying, how can we be celebrating 56 years of American presidents? It almost sounds like we're celebrating 56 years of oppression because uh, these guys took over the country from the Red Indians and... Uh, to celebrate 56 years of oppression. I don't think the world needs to give America that big cloud, the big hand. They say they are the masters of democracy. And my two cents worth, do the right thing as Americans. Incorporate the indigenous people, restore the dignity of the people, including the slave trade that is there. And we've been listening to the president here making his wonderful speech uh, as, as, as usual. And we'd want to see the speech he made a few years ago and the speech that he's making today, how that will affect the African political terrain. And uh, yes, then I heard the one of my our brothers singing Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. People are saying Joe Biden is not a Christian. So it's well technically managed right there to make sure that even the Christians also feel comfortable and our black brother they're praying for uh, Joe Biden to run into president. These are the things that almost like paralyze the Africans. And you think, oh, the system is good. You know, one of our brothers went there to pray. You know, they're singing Amazing Grace and etc. Hey, but the snake is alive and well, alive and well. And while people, Amer Americans are doing their thing, we're going to be doing our own thing also here. We're in the midst of the pandemic, the Corona pandemic. If there's anything that has come out of 2020 for me, your health is in your hands. Your health is in your hands. You cannot trust your doctor. You cannot trust your government. You cannot trust anybody with your body. This is about you taking responsibility over managing what you eat, what you drink, how you sleep, how you rest, how you exercise, and maintain the balance of oxides and oxidants and poisons, sugars and sweets cakes and etc which are pumping in your system some of us unfortunately our bodies have become a dumping site of diseases and sicknesses resulting in many problems and i have a guest for you tonight in the person of of uh, babum temp but next to him a beautiful wonderful lady my grandmother is here you know i feel i feel invaded you know you can't even see you can't even see where i inherited it from yeah <laughs> my grandmother is here she's uh, sama samaita samaita tembo from the temple the dubes these are the manjanjanjes yes. these are the mbonambis the dubes beautiful umkilomokos uh, gas dandarovasikana ah man she is into the e-commerce into the e-commerce platform I'll just allow you guys to, to do a small little greeting after my small introduction. She's in the e-commerce platform. She'll take us through the e-commerce platform. Don't go away. Stay with us. Because at the end of this program, you guys are going to need these two people like you've never needed them before. Because I want to present to you a unique, a unique business proposal, a unique business uh, uh, proposal that has to do with how do we begin to move our goods and how do we begin to feed from each other on the African continent. Our problem has been everyone is doing their small little thing on the corner. This one is trying something. I am opening a new business. I'm opening a new business. 10, 15 people later, you are all emerging. In South Africa, here, for example, 25 years later, we still have emerging businesses. The question is, when are they going to be fully emerged? We need it now to start coming together to occupy the global platform with our products and our services so that our impact can be great. I start with you, madam. Introduce the people. Who is Mbuya Samasa, Samas, Manjenjenj, Samaita? Manjenjenj, Samaita. So I think you raised a very important question that we're still talking about emerging businesses. We're still talking about this one starts their own business, this one starts their own business. And I think we need to get to a point where we say we bring whatever we've been doing for the last, I don't know how many years, together and run our businesses. So what we've done is samaitaforyou.com. And before I go into Samaita. Samaita. In one word. It's one word. Samaitaforyou.com. Samaita and actually, it's uh, purposefully done that way because I looked 
looked at what Samaita represents. We mm -hmm. I come from a clan of people that give back. Mm -hmm. And what we've done as a people is we've allowed people to come and run businesses in, in our on our continent. And we they don't really embrace what we are as a people. Mm -hmm. We believe that when you do business, you give back. Kandiro, Kanopfumba, Kanopfumba, It means one plate goes where another one is coming from. Now that's literal translation. Yeah. One good turn deserves, deserves another. Deserves another. For speaking yeah. British, you know. Yes. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> what, what we've done is we've looked at the, the roaring trade within mm. Southern Africa. And just to give you a bit of background, in, in five years' time, that trade is, is, uh, is poised to go up to about $225 billion in Africa. E-commerce mm. business is, is going to bring in $225 billion rands. And if you look at Southern Africa, they, there are very few black people playing on that space. Mm. But if you're saying that it's going to go up by that much and mm. go up to that much, who is bringing that trade in? And who, who is going to be taking that money? Who is going to be taking that money? But more importantly, Papa Maponga, is who is bringing that money? 95% mm. of the people on, in, in Sadak, in the southern region, are black people. Mm. And it's, it's money that is coming from black people. Mm. How do we, as African people, begin to harness our own power and and and, and start creating generational wealth for ourselves. I'll give you another moment just to take us through exactly how e-commerce business works. And, and, and over to you, Mdade Mtembo, Pila Pakade. Who is Pila Pakade and who is Mtembo? Uh, my name is Ntagani Pontembo. I'm a director and a co-founder at Pila Pakade. Basically, uh, Pila Pakade is an authentic African wellness brand and store. And in Zulu, when we say Pila Pagate, it's just a simple wish to say live forever. Um, so our business basically has a mission which is to restore humankind a relationship with nature. And we are modernizing African wellness. So uh, our ethos, very straightforward, transparent, raw, African. And we are basically connecting a conversation between the past the present and the future. It's more like a generational conversation using plants by restoring the relationship with nature. Our purpose is to boost everyone's immunity and is to reverse sickness and is to restore health, revitalize your body. Mm -hmm. And we want to say to everybody, they must live forever through our method. All right. Some of you might be looking around and say, what's happening with Ponga J? You have a pro <laughs> have about products here, indigenous products, and here you're sitting with an e-commerce person. How do you think you're going to be juggling around these two things. They look unrelated, but hang around with me. By the end of this show here, you'll be exactly where I want you to be in terms of understanding. How does e-platform, maybe before I even go to the e-platform business, how did you get yourself involved into this trading story? I, I know there's an interesting story. My mother also used to be in one of those buses. Yes. Maybe who knows, in the 80s. Also. Yes, maybe 80s. we met in the buses. But we uh, probably <laughs> did. <laughs> yeah, we probably did. So, so that's your background. So I grew up in Zimbabwe. And uh, by the age of 14, uh, my mother was in a space where she had to provide for the fa for a family of five. Mm. To do that, because my father passed away when I was 13, mm. so to be able to provide for the five of us suddenly for a rural lady mm. who had no education, she had to find a way of selling things. And what she discovered was that people were, were crossing the border coming to South Africa mm. to sell what we used to call in those days doilies. Mm. So mm. she would come and sell her doilies. And by the way, doilies are, are some of these things. <laughs> these uh, cr 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 crochet things and yes. stuff like that. Yeah. So, so you put on your tables mm -hmm. and on your couches. And yeah, she would sell to, 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 to people in South Africa. Once she got the money, then she would she would use that money to buy goods from South Africa mm -hmm. to go and resell back. Fans were popular those days and watches. Watches. Yeah. Those fans that used to go around yeah. like that. Yeah. So that's, that, that, that's where it started. But more importantly, what made me sad about that was that every time we came to South Africa we would spend money on the bus once we got to South Africa sometimes we had to sleep at park station mm -hmm. and we sleep on the concrete floor sometimes it would be in June because remember our, our, our holidays are in June in Zimbabwe uh, school holidays so you'd come here sleep at, on, at park station on the floor and by the time you go back and sell these uh, these goods that you've bought in South Africa my mother was still poor 
So we, we, we never really uh, got, to a, uh, got to a point where we had enough to say, mommy, stop working. You can now look after us just with the money that you've made. So it was th this, uh, th this ongoing thing of me watching my mother go back and forth buying things. But it wasn't just my mother, was it? A lot of people started coming from Malawi, from Mozambique. My mother was there also. You, I'm sure. Quite a lot of Zimbabwe. She was in Zimbabwe. Botswana and Joba kid. And Namibia. Quite regular, yes. And Namibia. Yeah. And then sometimes Lesotho to sell. Mm. So uh, this whole thing became, uh, became an obsession for me because it started when I was 14. When I eventually graduated and come back, uh, came to South Africa to live in South Africa, I realized when I came to Joba that it not only had it grown bigger, but these ladies that were coming every time were mm. still poor. Were st they were still as, as badly off as my mother had been. And m my mind started working on a, situ or on a business concept that said, how do I stop these ladies from wasting money coming, uh, coming all the way from wherever they are coming to sell their to goods, sell their goods go back. buy goods, and go back? Wow. So, so this is where it started. Then um, some, a while back, about four or five years ago, I went and did an MBA and wanted to work on that particular Project. aspect. Mm -hmm. E-commerce became a bit of an obsession for me. Mm -hmm. But who is going to believe that a girl from Chitungwiza mm -hmm. can really talk about e-commerce? Mm -hmm. I think that, that's the sad reality that we face as, as women of color when we go into these businesses. Which are white so, male dominated. Yes, very white male dominated they, they, there's a, a lot of um, Nigerians and a lot of uh, West Africans that have got uh, the history about e-commerce in Africa just give me an overview so from Kenya Nigeria Zimbabwe South Africa where are the big players in this e-commerce platform so let me tell you that the big players on this in South Africa are take a lot and bid or buy both very you know um, dominated by um, un unfortunately white males and with a certain background uh, in nigeria there's jumia there's conga and then you've got kili more in um in Kenya. Mm. All of them, uh, Conga and Jumia, have got black representative, uh, especially Conga. I'm very proud of him. Mm. Uh, but the others are really f the foreign people. Chinese are strong in that space. Very Chinese strong. Chinese are quite strong in that. Chinese and Asians are coming in and they're setting up e commerce platforms. And I'm sitting here and I'm thinking to myself that this is the space that we should be playing in mm. as black people. I want you to capture something right there before I can ask his background and what made him move into this direction. Remember in social distancing, transportation is where a person who needs something has to access it from somewhere else. And because of COVID and social distancing, we need to start finding intelligent, clean, smart ways of bringing the goods closer to the person and 100%. cutting down all the unnecessary traveling borders passports and everything that goes sleeping on the concrete floors mm. and 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 as long as there's an address and a cell phone the same woman in Chungiza now can have an order from Kahiso someone ordering their doilies and on an e-platform we're saying now it is possible and it, you are now able to look at a product from wherever it is through her platform space and press a button you get a barcode, you get a way in it, you can trace your product from the day it leaves to the day it finally reaches your, your mm. table. I don't know if I'm summarizing your business well. I listened, I listened well, yeah? You did. <laughs> Let's, I, I, I would want you to express yourself, but let me just hear from you. What made you drive in your direction? Um, I wear different hats. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur. Um, and a serial one, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I always, I always refrain to actually put a name on who I am because I'm so dynamic things change over the years and over time mm. so you don't want to come now and say you this and then the next thing who when do you, you find say I something am else and then you get yes. confused. <laughs> who do you say I am mm. then that's it but anyways uh, I talking on the wellness and the health side I I own one of the biggest successful restaurants in terms of uh, franchise mm. in South Africa so I went in there to educate myself, to understand. What's your brand? Uh, Cubana. Cubana? Yes. Oh, well Cubana? Uh, yes. My word. Um, uh, as a franchisee. Mm. Okay. So, so basically, I've seen the, the model. I love the model. But 
there was something for me that I needed to do for the welfare of humanity. Mm. Mm. So at home, my wife, my kids. Feel free to drink your tea. Yeah. It's let me have your tea. You can you can drink your tea. Yeah. it's yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Mm. He, he, he may, we are drinking uh, some serious herbal teas here. I love my job, but <laughs> we will take it through some of these products that are going along. Please, I just cut you short there. Yes. So, uh, to cut a long story short, I learned the best systems through the engagement into, in, 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 a, in a franchise model mm. and looking at all other franchises, how they operate. And then I went back to say, we as Africans, um, what is it? that we can pride ourselves with. What is the generational conversation? Where do we come from as Al Capulan? And, 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 and so forth. We started researching myself and my partner, Mark. And we started researching and researching, finding out how did we eat? How did we sleep? How did we bath? How did families um, uh, operate? and what sort of sort of values and what is it that we learn from nature and we realize not long um, uh, into the, the deep discussion that what was really needed was to finding out the methodologies in terms of a relationship between men and plants. plants. Mm. How do we take that and modernize it? Mm. And then how do we take that and, and not commercialize it, and commercialize it mm. instead of you practicing at behind your home and uh, doing a great job but how do we say how do we make it accessible to everybody yeah. what is the trade route mm. you know then we saw the model we built a, a pillar pagate store started with one product to the second product now we have 28 products built a shop in Durban we then Put another franchise to uh, in Soweto, Villagaza Street, which was quite significant for us to have it at that location. Hold and it, now. hold it right there. When you come back after the break, let's hear how these two people they don't know each other, they are meeting each other in the studio. And I'm going to have a beautiful conversation here mm. as uh, he takes us through the product. You listen very carefully when we come back and see how we can make this model one of your first projects on your e-commerce platform. And in the same space also, you can give us a broader spectrum as to what kind of business are you doing and what sort of clientele are you trying to develop right out there. My name is Maponga <coughs> J. Stay with me. We'll be back right after the break. Face. He killed your brother. Make messy moves with Stars Head. I want you to eat healthy food because it's delicious. Make messy moves. Would you like another one? I love it. I love this soup. This is amazing. The grits are so creamy. Oh, ho, ho. I take pride in my grits. No, so flavorful. I think that looks wonderful. Yeah. It's so incredible. Make messy moves with Starside.
Welcome back, welcome back here on your wonderful show, Sankofa, live in studio with Babu Mtembu and uh, Mama Samaita, uh, taking us through some business spaces, beautiful stuff that we're having today. At the end of this show, you'll know exactly why I put these two people together to make this thing work for us. Take us through some of the products that you already have on the table quickly in a punchline. I know they're quite a lot, okay. but uh, in a nice snapshot. And briefly, uh, this is how we communicate uh, between plants and humans. Mm. We have made products that are made of authentic African plants mm -hmm. from the African soil. Mm -hmm. Ikuma. Uh, ikuma is a steaming oil. Mm -hmm. uh, we all know that if you want to cleanse the bacteria, mm -hmm. you got to cover your head and just steam mm -hmm. and then keep breathing. Mm -hmm. So we've got peppermint, um, wintergreen, uh, some African oils, eucalyptus oil, impepo, fembo, mm -hmm. and aloe that we've extracted the oils from this plant mm -hmm. and then we make this product which is really really uh, user friendly for every member of the family and it's also it's also good for your new steam yeah yes it's a dual yeah. it's a dual um apply application mm -hmm. basically you use it for facial respiratory mm -hmm. steaming and you also use it for yoni steaming mm -hmm. takes away period pain wow. totally oh we need wow. totally you need that totally we do need that down <laughs> it's, it's so like, there we go with ikuma is the first one yes, yes. uh mm -hmm. i'll just pick up anyone yeah. Yeah. we are yeah, very yeah, yeah, yeah. very strong with making aphrodisiac mm. like um, Faz, we believe in families we want to strengthen the families yes. we give the body the properties that it needs the vitamins and mm. the right minerals and then your body does the rest mm. um, li, lola, you need a fire extinguisher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a product by her. You can't just have a, you can't have a cold thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. a land. You must eat it. Yeah, yeah, that that is for yeah, that is for, <laughs> for, for for those that are active in other mural yes. activities. Yeah. Yes, I mean there's a, quite a lot. We do our range varies from powders to tinctures to oils and uh, as well as smoothies because pillar part is divided into three that's a, a, a dispensary section the 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 wellness juices and then uh, the consultation rooms mm -hmm. where you can go in and walk and consult baobab one of the well-known you can plant mm -hmm. and it's a beautiful product that uh, 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 has many health and vitamins and minerals benefit. Imaka is for him and her. Mm -hmm. You use this as a family, mama no baba. My siblings to get stamina, to get energy. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, if you are an active family, mm -hmm. this is one you should have. Because men, some of the men are now peeing on their shoes, you know. Yes. They are, they are, on, uh, they are, they are on half past. <laughs> I mean, we, we must be on quarter past, you know, that kind yes, of thing. Yeah? Of course. I mean, it's all the, the wrong foods we've, be, we've been eating mm -hmm. uh, for a longest period mm -hmm. that are making us kind of weak and mm. uh, so you need to start that increases libido yeah it increases libido yeah. yes i think i have enough libido already would i need them would i need some more <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 african potato mm. african star grass mm. at a well-known product african uh, potato is an antioxidant it's an anti-inflammatory uh, it's, it's a powerful plant it cleans your reactor tracked it cleans uh, it helps you with chest uh, it also helps with many health benefits mm. all the plants mostly african plants they don't have one specific they have a wide range of yes a lot of people with hiv they take this and uh, you know that's one another product but i'm not going to go through all of them mm -hmm. mm. that's dot. for men yes no? it's from um yeah Mpeso tree Mm. So, so basically, it's from Venda. It also boosts the libido. Uh, hey, that's from Venda. Yeah. Yes. I've heard some rumors about that Venda herb. Kiona mpesu ine. Kiona mpesu le. Okay. You wanna try it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you <try> it <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's lovely when you start taking this product and you know what they do to your body, mm. and you know today I can take this one or take that one. And you come up with your own combination, thing. yeah. I mean, you make yourself into a machine mm. that really does work well. Mm. Seaweed. Some call it simos. Wonder plant, mm. multivitamin, multimineral. I mean, it's got iodine, it's got amino acid, it's gut cleaning, uh, it's good for your health. Mm. I would, I can't really. You, can, you cannot finish, you know, please. I, I want you to talk about this one here. Shonya, no, shonya. Yes. What a wonderful product. It's mm. an antiviral, it's an anti. Um, um, it's, it's the difference between um, shonya and the African potato. 
um, Kenyan and African potato. African potato is more of an immune booster. This one is a fighter. It's an it's alive. Mm. If you put um Kenyan in a plastic bag, you go there the next day. Mm. It's 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 like breathing. Mm. It's an antiviral. Mm. Uh, 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 this is the, this is this is a South African one also similar yes. to the to the one in Madagascar. Yeah? Yes, it's what, what's the active, what was the what the scientific name for it? Artemisia. Artemisia. Yeah. Yes, Umtonyan. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. So basically, it's a fifty-two percent virgin fruit blend mm. with carefully selected vegetables and fruits that will boost your immune system, mm. and then blended that with Umtonyan tea. Mm. Our methods are clear. Our packaging will tell you what ingredients it goes there. There are instructions. It gives you a nutritional value. We've went and uh, did a nutritional in internationally in the UK, and we've also done testing here in South Africa. So mm. this is certified. It's got um, a cons a consumption certificates, and we sell them in small and also in a big size. So it's quite a wonderful product. It's one you just buy and mm. drink and you boost your immunity. Let's not be embarrassed. Let's not be embarrassed yes. to say in the midst of the corona, the corona yes. pandemic, yes. this is the Mshonya that we're talking about. This we have made actually a, a, yes. a, a cocktail. Yes, of we Mshonya. have. Yes. Yes. Wow. And, and, and uh, it, 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 I always refrain to say this particular product is going to heal a mm. certain uh, ailment. You're looking at a holistic because, wellness because, yes, of the body. We are about wellness. We are about making sure that people live a, 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 a wellness life using African methods. Mm. Uh, and we, if I give you a product, mm. take for instance, I give you this product, mm. you start taking it, it might act fast, it might heal fast, it mm. might give you wellness quicker than myself. Mm. Bodies respond differently. Bodies respond differently. I don't go out to say this is a cure for yeah. this and this, mm -hmm. but I go out saying I will give you a product that will enable your body to, to fight. actually fight and any disease is that. So yes. All right, there we are. Uh, go go. You are listening very yes, carefully here. Yeah. You are you are looking at this. Yes. And you as a businesswoman. Yes. Uh, what is what is what is he saying to you? So for me, what he's saying is that this is an opportunity opportunity for us as a business to take your product and put it on our platform so we haven't we haven't put ourselves like you we are not putting ourselves out there as retailers or makers of this product or we we we, we have schools or trucks that go to zimbabwe what we are good at is to enable business is mm -hmm. to enable trading within the sadak region so how many this, countries are you reaching so far? we are reaching 16 countries mm -hmm. the 16 countries in the Sadak region. Uh, our vision really at the end of the day is to make trading so open mm. and so cheap that mm. your product mm. that you are working with right now, once it's on our platform, my grandmother in Zimbabwe can access it. I mean, my grandmother in Tanzania can access it. And right now we're constricted by the fact that people put products mm. and we have to buy those products. Why can I not, through a platform, deal with you directly mm. and pay you directly but I will then facilitate the transportation of those goods into the various regions. Mm -hmm. Not through myself, because there are people out there. If you go into, into a park station, for instance, mm -hmm. you see informal traders. We're not here to, to take anybody's business. We are here to streamline for our people so that by the end of the day, mm -hmm. our, the strength that we have as a group of people, as African people, mm -hmm. makes it cheaper for us to trade in the region. Let me also tap in right there. I'm, I'm not limiting her to be the one who's transporting these uh, uh, herbal products only. She is into all sorts of commercial, uh, the commercial platform in its full totality. Yes. From heavy machinery to mining equipment, fertilizers to clothes to what? Name it. If you have a product anywhere mm. in the 16 countries mm. and you want to move your goods from one country to another country 100%. without even leaving your house, without leaving your house, mm -hmm. by pressing a button and swiping your card, purchasing your goods, and then they will have a platform where they can actually track and etc. I wanted to just create this as an initial as an initial conversation. Thank you. So that no matter how small the products are, because health is much more important for me right now in the midst of the pandemic, and see how the two of you can begin to look for each other and, that's and what say, we need to do. I have the the, the the e platform, you have the product, and you is listening out there from the home, you have the appetite for the product. So here is you. 
Here is him. <laughs> here is her. There needs to be some form of business that happens right there. The benefit for you is your health in this particular case. She makes her money on the e-platform. You make your money on the product. I think it's a win, 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 win situation it is for everybody. Yeah. How does this platform work? So what you do is you register with us. You register on samaitaforyou.com. Mm -hmm. Once you register, you get a unique code. Like you've correctly pointed... Please, guys, can you put the website, put the website at the bottom of the page there for people to register? Yeah. So once you've got your unique code, then you're, you're able to, tra to buy or sell your products on our system. So we have two parties to this uh, platform. We have consumers mm. and we have uh, businesses, mm. which we call our partners. Mm. What, what we are in the midst of doing is creating almost like a virtual mall mm. where you can buy almost anything imaginable mm. and access any service imaginable. Mm. And when I say service, you can also do tourism. We offer discounts on, on transportation in terms of traveling into mm. the region. Mm. If you see the, the amount of people that get onto buses every Easter, uh, Christmas, we want to make it easier for them to be able to buy their tickets on that platform and go home, buy uh, plane tickets and go home. Mm. So what we've done as well is we've looked and we said, what other services are being accessed around the region. Mm. We want to open up the region. We want to flatten these borders. Mm. So if I'm building a house, for instance, in Zimbabwe, why can't builders, why can't somebody who's building their house in Zimbabwe, who's sitting in the UK, do it sitting in, at, at their, in their house? On their computer. On their computer. Access the material they need in South Africa. South Africa. We then ship it to, to Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. Access the builders they need on the platform. Who are based in Zimbabwe, then access whatever material they need from Zambia, mm -hmm. and we ship it from Zambia into Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. So that is the vision, to open up, to make e-commerce really Some people affordable. might not be aware. For example, you look at the Bait Bridge border. There's a more than 30, 40 billion, we are telling me yes. 30, 40 billion rand right. per month or per year? Per year. Per year. That goes through that border. And yet countries are complaining of finances and etc. Like right now South Africa are looking for two billion to buy uh, vaccines. And yet that kind of money goes through the border in, in a matter of days. But if you look at the bureaucracy of just getting goods across a river, <laughs> across yeah. a, the river, mm. you, you, met, you sometimes you spend two weeks. And by the time you cross over with your goods, they are spoiled and et cetera and et cetera. So how, how fast is your, are your services? So one of the things that I can definitely guarantee is that you would be able to track mm -hmm. how fast your goods get to Malawi, get to Angola, any country in the Sadak region. Whereas before, you'd almost have to be on the phone. Where are you? Where's the bus driver? We don't do that. We, you can track your goods mm -hmm. on the system. Once you have that unique code, you're able to track your goods. So Working from a from a website. Yes. From a website. You work from your so website. A typical scenario. I, w I want to buy. I want to buy this product. Yes. From uh, Ubabom Temple. Mm -hmm. What must I do? I pay on your side or I pay him. You, if he's if he's enabled to to accept payment, mm -hmm. then we you can pay him. If he's not, we, you, they can also pay some. But I must be on you. the site. Yes. Then he must be, his, his business must also be registered on your site. In yes. other words, his his his, his kiosk. Yeah. Well, this is an e-platform mall. Yes. So I walk up to his shop, and I identify what I want, and I put it in the basket. A hundred percent. And I swipe my card. Yes. Then the message goes to his phone, that product X has been bought yes then what happens from there then the message comes to my uh, to my, desk. my desk that's where magic comes uh, that's where my magic comes that uh -huh. papa maponga has bought this uh, product mm -hmm. it will be delivered if he has a delivered cap uh, delivery capability mm -hmm. or you can fetch it at such and such a place mm -hmm. we then fetch it or it's delivered to our warehouse okay. once it's in our warehouse, warehouse we tell the consumer mm -hmm. your product are now sitting in our warehouse they will leave for harare mm -hmm. in the such next such, uh, such and such a day and arrive on such and such a day mm -hmm. if there are any delays at the border like what's been happening mm -hmm. you are told there are delays at the border mm -hmm. 
please Extend note your... that delivery should be anticipated in so many, so mm -hmm. many days. Mm -hmm. What we also have is we keep giving you news about what's happening. Mm -hmm. If your goods are insured, these goods that you, you're sending to wherever, we insure them. We take yeah, that resp yeah. responsibility. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, I think one of the things that I need to say uh, now is that the consumer themselves, if they are trading on that platform and they keep buying from Papa Mtembu, etc., we are. It gives us the ability to start negotiating with Papa Mtembu to say, "Come on, we, these people are giving you so much business. Let's let's see what we can do with them." Also, that you might even include warehousing and other yes. you know, strategic. Uh, Conversations. Conversations. Mm. But also, we have a, a, a almost like a club facility for our, all our consumers. Mm. We call it my Samaita Club, mm. which, are, like I said earlier, that in our, in our African tradition, if you're giving me something, I need to be able to give it back. Mm. So if you've been trading, paying regularly to take your goods, what we do is we, we give you points every time you trade on the system. Mm. So in the end, you get to a point where you're barely paying that much. Mm. to send goods to, to, to wherever you're sending them mm. in the 16 countries mm. in the Sadak region. So from here to Kenya? Sadak. So, oh, Sadak. Sadak. Tanzania. Tanzania. You stop yeah. in Tanzania. Yeah. Oh, there is Comesa. Yes, That's yeah. Comesa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. All right. So, so, so uh, I think it's important that people understand that we differentiate ourselves in that we don't say, uh, you know, once you've bought from us, it's your responsibility. We continue to look after you. You become part of a family. Mm. That's the way we want to do business. Mm. That's the way we do business. How do you hear your response? When you hear, when, when you hear what she's saying, you're a businessman. I know a uh, hundred ideas are running through your head. <laughs> I mean, we, we create a product uh, and we create bulk. Mm. And... Uh, the from production to the end user you cannot you can't not ignore the trade yes that trade exists that mm -hmm. trade built countries that trade was at historical how they used to do certain things to pass on mm -hmm. certain messages through trade routes mm -hmm. it's historical so i'm excited i'm excited um to actually open a discussion yes. to say, let's try and get Pila Pagate to the rest of Africa. Brilliant. And Brilliant. It, it, it looks like a great platform. It is. So um, it, the more people have the product, the more people are well. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And Africa needs to become a blue city or blue continent it where really we does. live for much, much longer because we have said no to all the things that are causing harm to our mm. bodies. Mm. So this is very, very helpful to our business. So you listen to me, you guys who are listening from out there. Whatever career that you are on, you could be a builder, you could be a carpenter, you could be a driver, you could be a tourist person, you could be into restaurants. Whatever business that you have out there, you don't need to over sometimes stretch yourself. Mm. I know marketing takes quite a huge amount of the budget. How am I going to get this product from here? To where the people in the market is mm -hmm. now through such platforms it almost cuts down your your your, your marketing budget by quite a considerable amount mm -hmm. because by you simply being on the platform and opening up your shop on the platform the is it the onus is on them to market the, the product and to market their shop and when mm -hmm. people come into their shop which is their website more mm -hmm. then they will find your shop is already there for sure you access your customers from there seamless clean and your products and your services can be accessed mm. by other people throughout the entire 16 Saudi countries. It's not true that there's no employment, even during these times of corona. I want to challenge you. Sit down, re-strategize, rethink your business model. Yes. Rethink your service delivery methods. Don't sit around and wait to be called back at work. What if this thing goes on for another eight months and it's another true. nine, ten months, and you are still waiting for Ramaphosa to say, finally, you can go to work? What if this thing comes up in a different site altogether that certain businesses can no longer operate. Only certain businesses will operate. Will it mean that you must die? I want to challenge you. Go back, look at your qualifications, look at your career, particularly those who are in manufacturing and those who are in service delivery, uh, uh, service uh, delivery, you know, services, service, services delivery. Identify your, 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 your skills, package yourself nicely, get on the platform, and they will advertise your service. You will link up with other people. You could begin to write proposal for a businessman who's sitting in Congo. 
You can begin to do accounting books for someone Brilliant. who is sitting up in Zambia. Mm. You can begin to sh ship your stuff around the country. It's not always true that you must be sweating hard. My grandfather gave me a proverb. When you start sweating too much, sometimes it means your brains are not working. True. <laughs> you know, working, you're struggling too much. Mm. Apply yourself to this concept that we're sharing right now, I'm, I'm right here and now. Uh, Sankofa, we're witnessing what I might want to call our first official business conversation of how do we connect businesses within the greater Sadiq space, but of course on Sankofa we are reaching the whole of Africa you and are. beyond. Yes. So we hope that uh, when you are getting more powerful, you'll also stretch yourself into the entire continent of Africa right there. And uh, on those platforms, mm. it would be nice also to have conversations, chats, chat groups and what and what, where people can begin to talk and people can go together. Your final two words for the people that are out there in Africa, and, and as far as Pila Pakade is concerned. Um, we have a message and our message is that be in good health forever. And we are Pila saying Pila Pagate. Mm. That's the message we have as Pilin. But James, the Ashuba Lapa, if I agree, I'm a daughter, if I agree for women, stomach cleansers, I'm a ten, no leave me, teas and what, what. Name it, man. Hey, don't just sleep in your house like a bag of potatoes, man. Come on, get some life into that room there. But it's not just about sex. Be healthy and enjoy your life. Your final parting shot with your audience out there. We, we are not uh, normal. Uh, business that wants to take anything from anyone. We want to create a family. We are powerful as an African community. We mm. are powerful as Southern African community. Mm. Let's get together and work together. Mm. We want as many businesses on our platform. Mm -hmm. We want as many consumers because the more we get together, mm -hmm. the more we're able to push prices down. Mm. And once we realize the power we have within us mm. as a community of people, mm. then we'll make it very difficult for anybody else to come and take businesses out. Mm. Away from us. What I'll do going forward, if there are any other businesses out there that would want to maximize on this uh, on this platform, I think we'll loop here in again and uh, maybe feature in two, three, four other types of businesses and see how those businesses can begin Brilliant. to speak to this uh, e-platform. So it's not the last time we see her. It's not the last time I'm going to be seeing you also. You might want to come and tell us on another day the, the whole idea of packaging and preparing African yes. indigenous indigenous medicines and to come and make them effective and if you guys want to come and use galaxy as your partner in terms of advertising we are really? more than available and willing to give you that mileage and of course we must keep our electricity on also and Fair a few enough. but uh, we we will give with the price we'll give you at galaxy you will not find it in, a, in another broadcast out there. I, can, I can i can challenge you on that so please we are your, we are your media partner we are your media partner Thank we you. will package this on all social media and all TV spaces and etc. For your adverts and etc. It's, it's, it's all within. It's, it's all. And while we are on that, we have a new man on the block. Joe Biden is now the new president of the U.S. of A. United States of America with the lady. What's your name, by the way? Uh, uh, Camilla Harris, the first woman vice president sworn in officially right there. American politics is turning a turn. We hope it to be for the best. And here in Africa, in Uganda, for example, the other president, is uh, Museveni, has just been re-elected again as a president in that country. Africa, Africa, my country. Let's start doing things better. But while they're doing their stuff, let's begin to create a parallel business model. I like your words. Let's make Africa blue. By making blue, don't mean running around with a blue brush painting. Africa by blue we're saying let's make it e-platform let's make an e-platform where all these e-commerces can actually have life this is a huge business 250 billion some of that money belongs to you your host for the show Maponga JG Garampo Garma Shamba Huda Chira Nawa Nawa Wanji Tisubo Wokhiro Zuzuku Bifranya Kunua Manaji Garma Kwe Matanda Nawara Manama Kwila Miti Wina Miti Ya Sosa Zibu Yezi Tezas Note Zira Warikuri Warpedu Antambana Zom Tambori Pawa Warwa Npimera Nama Chira Machena Wina Miti Ya Sosa Until We See Again Don't do what I wouldn't do, but if you decide to do it, do it better.